Would you like to make your BISC trades bigger and buy or sell more Bitcoin at one time? Then you need to know about two important mechanisms, account aging and account signing. I want to make clear that these are both cryptographic means of keeping the BISC network safe. There is no department of people somewhere in a back room verifying or rejecting your accounts as they wish. And they're pretty simple to use, so let's go through them now. Account aging is the foundation, so let's start with that. This is where you can find your payment account's aging status in BISC. Now the key idea of account aging is that as a BISC payment account gets older, it can do bigger trades. And that's pretty much all there is to it, so let's go through an example. Let's say you set up a new money order payment account on BISC. Western Union, for example. Then on the very first day, you'll see the following limits. 0.125 Bitcoin to buy and 0.125 Bitcoin to sell. These are simply the maximum sizes for one trade that you can do. You can do as many trades as you want at or below these limits. Then after 30 days, you'll see those limits double to 0.25 Bitcoin to buy and 0.25 Bitcoin to sell. And finally, after 60 days, those limits will double again to 0.5 Bitcoin to buy and 0.5 Bitcoin to sell. So that's how account aging works. The limit you start with doubles twice, first after 30 days and again after 60 days. Now there is one thing to note, that limit you start with varies by payment method because different payment methods have different maximum trade sizes. So the amount that BISC allows you to trade at one time with a cash deposit, for example, is lower than the amount you can trade with a money order or by face-to-face. -face. But the same aging dynamic applies. Okay, so here at day zero, you can see all limits are different, but 30 days into the future, all limits have doubled. And then in 60 days, all limits have doubled again. So that's account aging. To see a full list of payment methods that you can use on BISC and their maximum trade limits, check out the link on the screen. Now, there is a caveat to everything we just went through. If you've used BISC to create a payment account for something like SEPA or Zelle or a bank transfer, for example, you might have noticed that limits are a bit different. So let's use SEPA as an example. Say you set up a brand new SEPA account on BISC. For the first 30 days, your limits will look like this. You can sell up to 0.0625 Bitcoin at one time, but you can only buy up to 0.01 Bitcoin at one time. 30 days later, you'll see your sell limits double, as you might expect, to 0.125 Bitcoin, but your buy limits will stay at 0.01 Bitcoin. 30 days after that, your sell limits will double once again, to 0.25 Bitcoin, but your buying limits will remain stuck at 0.01 Bitcoin. So what is going on here? Why did buy limits never go up? Obviously, being limited to buying 0.01 Bitcoin at a time kind of sucks. Well, SEPA, just like Zelle and bank transfer and a number of other payment methods, has chargeback risk. So buyers using these payment accounts are limited to buying 0.01 Bitcoin or less until their accounts are cryptographically signed by another peer on the network. If that sounds complicated, don't worry, it's actually very simple. All you have to do is take a buy offer with a check mark in this time since signing column. You can see the difference between an offer that will get you signed and an offer that won't get you signed here on the screen. The offer on the top will not get you signed it is a 0.01 Bitcoin offer, but in the time since signing column, you'll see that there is no check mark. On the bottom, that offer is for 0.01 Bitcoin, but uh, it also has that check mark in the time since signing column. You can take either offer. You can take the top offer as well, and you can go through and buy that 0.01 Bitcoin just fine. You just will not end up with a signed payment account afterwards. So that's it, that's all you have to do to get a signed payment account. Take an offer to buy that has a check mark, finish the trade, and you'll end up with a signed account. 
In 30 days, your 0.01 Bitcoin limit will be lifted and there's nothing else you or the seller need to do. This takes care of everything in the background. And one last thing, if you want to check your account signing status, you can see it in the payment account details. To be clear, you will not see account signing status for payment accounts without chargeback risk. So money orders, cash deposits, face-to-face -face trades, these payment accounts cannot be signed. So signing status will not be shown 